In this video, we will talk about the PCM600 Parameter Setting Tool. We will learn about its interface and the most commonly used features in action. To open the tool, right-click and choose it from the context menu. Let's start with the Browse option. Now, Display Only Selected node is selected. On the main screen, we will only see parameters related to selecting the item in the plant structure. Once a protection function is selected, we will see parameters related to this item. If Browse option Display Selected node plus Child node is selected, we will see all its related parameters underneath. For example, if we select Current Protection, we will see all parameters for all current protections. On the main view, we see Group or Parameter Name, IED Value, PC Value, Unit, and Minimum and Maximum Ranges for the parameter. IED values are only visible after you read parameters from the relay. You can change parameters by changing PC Value. Note that the changes are not automatically made to the relay until you manually write parameters to the relay. The next feature is Basic and Advanced Parameters. If the Advanced layer is selected, all parameters are visible. If the Basic layer is selected, some parameters are hidden. It is recommended to use the Advanced layer. The next feature is Filters. We will look at the most commonly used ones. If the All Parameters option is selected, all parameters belonging to the selected item are visible. Parameters in black are those which in the current setup are active or visible. This means that if you change a value for the parameter, it will affect function behavior. The gray parameters are those whose change will not affect the function work in the current setup. Black and gray statuses are not permanent and may change if another parameter is changed. In the current example, all curve-related parameters are gray because operating curve type is IEC definite time. If we change it to programmable, all curve parameters will be active. Another filter is visible parameters. In this case, we only see active or visible parameters, and the content automatically changes if we change a parameter related to another parameter. If the filter Changed Parameters is selected, the tool only shows the changed parameters during the current session. If you want to see all the changed parameters for all the functions in the relay, select the relay in the plant structure and you will see all the parameters which have been changed. If the filter IED Value Compare with PC Value is selected, the difference between parameters on the relay and on the PCM600 are shown. We can see it after we read parameters from the relay. To read parameters, we need to select the item in the plant structure for which we want to have parameters read, and then click on the button Read Parameters from IED. Let's try to do that if only one function is selected and there are no parameters selected in the main view. In this case, PCM600 will read all the parameters belonging to the selected function. By default, the Copy IED Values to PC Value field option is selected. It means that when we read parameters, we replace all the parameters we have in PCM600 with the ones from the relay. If you just want to read parameters to check or compare them with the parameters in PCM600 while leaving the original PC values, you can uncheck this option. There is another option, reading individual parameters or a group of parameters. If a parameter is selected, you can only read the selected parameter by clicking on it and clicking on the button, and clicking on the button Read Parameters from IED. You can do the same with a group of parameters. If you need to read all parameters from the relay, 
Just select the relay from the plant structure and read them all. Write options are similar to read options. You can write one parameter, a group of parameters, or all parameters. When you select Write Parameters to IED, you can decide whether to send only the change parameters or all parameters for the selected item. If your Read Back option is active, you will read parameters back to the IED value field after the parameters are written to the relay.